Right, we're going to try and solve this um, question uh, relating to a regular polygon. Now, it's important to look at this very carefully. You've got to read the sum or the question carefully before you start. So, what does it say? It says ABC is part of a regular polygon. Okay, so a regular polygon. So we know that these sides, of this polygon are all going to be the same. A, B, P, so there's A, B, P is a straight line. So we know that's 180 degrees. Angle C, okay, C, B, P, in other words, that angle is 60 degrees. Now that's important. That's the first clue probably to all the rest of the questions. Okay, so let's look at the first question. How many sides does the completed regular polygon have? How many sides? Okay. So there's your clue. 60 degrees. That's an exterior angle. And what do we know about exterior angles of regular polygons or outer angles of any polygon? They all add up to 300 and 60 degrees. Important to remember, they all add up to 360 degrees. So to find out how many sides in this regular polygon, all you do is you take the degrees they've given you and you divide the 360 by that number, which is 60. And your answer is 6. So therefore, 6 sides. So we know it's a 6-sided polygon. Now, what is the name of this type of regular polygon? So 6-sided is a hexagon hexagon now we come on to the more nitty-gritty sort of questions that are always asked with polygons calculate the size of each of the following angles marked t okay there's t v okay and w now let's just Take a step back and, and, and look at the actual sketch, remembering, of course, it's not drawn to scale. OK, so let's just fill in some detail that's going to help us now. If we look at this angle, remember they told us ABP is a straight line. If that is 60 degrees, we know that a straight line equals 180. Therefore, this angle is going to be 120 degrees. Look at this shape. Okay, it's a quadrilateral, it's a rhombus. And if that is 120 degrees, that angle across there must also be 120. So T is half of 120. Okay, so T is going to be 60 degrees. Can you see that? If I added another section there, that's 120. Therefore, that must be 120 T is therefore 120 divided by 2. Okay, now V, there's V up top there. Now I'm going to highlight this, see if you can work out what I'm doing. Yep, it's a Z angle, Z angle. If that is 60 degrees, this must equal 60 as well. This complete must equal 60. Okay, so half of 60, we can see that's half, is going to be 30 degrees. So V is 30 degrees. All right. The next one, W. Well, there's W. Okay, let's just mark him off there. And what do we see? This is a triangle, isn't it? That's a triangle. That is 120 degrees. Can you see that? Okay, 120. That line cuts that in half, so that must be 60 degrees. This angle there is 60 degrees. So to be able to work out W, what is that? What is that? Again, if we look at that and we look at that, they both add up to 60. They should both add up to 60. 
That line cuts the 60 in half. Therefore, that is 30 degrees. Okay. And so what do we have here? We have a triangle. And the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. So 30 plus 60 is 90. And 90 subtracted from 180 is going to give me 90 degrees. So my answer is 90 degrees. Remember, important, it's not drawn to scale. So even if that doesn't look like it's 90 degrees, the answer is still 90 degrees.